It's a joy and pleasure to be here this morning to commemorate the World Environment Week and the World Oceans Day, which is today. The global theme for this year is uh, one, only one Earth. And I'm happy to witness your passion this morning, getting together to celebrate our environment, engage in a discourse to protect environment, build resilience amongst our stock of biodiversity, and talk about pathways which will lead towards building and forging a relationship with the regulator, the users, and the business sector. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, every year <coughs> on 5th June, the world celebrates the Environment Day. The focus of this year's Environment Day is living sustainably in harmony with nature. Very aptly, the theme is living sustainably in harmony with nature. Reflecting back to the 1972 Stockholm Conference, the theme was only one Earth that back then. And looking back 50 years, these wars remained very relevant even today. Our dependency on this beautiful blue planet, the stresses we put onto, have become more prevalent than ever. The, adop adop the adoption of the one, only one Earth as the World Environment Day 2022 theme emphasizes the fact that it is time we restore the balance between people and nature. So the good news is that solutions and technology does exist. And I think in this world, we need to ensure that technology development is a partner in uh, the sustainable uh, aspirations of us. So bringing the theme closer to home, the Ministry of Environment is hosting um, this uh, EIA. So the purpose of today's business roundtable is to share information, get you to speak up, clarify your doubts, and also to tell you that look, if you really have to cut the mangrove and build a hotel because you need to build a hotel right near the, the seashore, then we will tell you what to do. Even though cutting down one mangrove tree and replacing with six seedlings is not equivalent. And all of you, most of you, I think, know how long it takes for a mangrove tree to grow and take a, let's say, three meter height, which when it gets two meter height, when it gets two meters, at least it will be very strong and can withstand the, um, the strong, strong waves. So the entire purpose of this round table is for you to share and talk and discuss. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, it's really an honor to be here. Um, we still have time to avert the worst effects of climate crisis. We can't halt the biodiversity, biodiversity loss and have the ability to safeguard and restore our degraded ecosystem. We can improve the quality of our air, water and soil. We can mend our relationship with nature. We can achieve the sustainable development goals. However, we must move quickly, diligently and bring about much needed change. <coughs> but all of you need to be convinced and uh, all of you need to be our ambassadors of change, amb environmental ambassadors, and all of you need to convince the others, the notorious ones who are throwing these bags of rubbish, rubbish out of their car window when they are traveling to work in the morning, in the evening, etc. All of you need to talk to them. It is the adult generation that is challenging us. The younger ones, the children are very disciplined, they understand, they are very conscious about keeping our environment clean. So I wish to acknowledge all of your efforts and thank you all for coming here this morning and taking out your time. And I think that, you know, uh, if we can have this, more groups like this, I think we will progressively have the entire population with us. Thank you and happy Oceans Day and happy Environment Week. Thank you.